The Salt Dome, sitting just below the Trans-Canada Highway on the West Coast, will soon provide storage for renewable energy that can be used in many parts of the province and even the country. As NTV's Becky Daly tells us, the official Salt Dome is the only proven Salt Dome on the eastern seaboard of North America and potentially the first clean energy reserve in Canada. This is an asset that we can have a clean energy reserve on the Atlantic to, to support today and, and tomorrow. But first, what is it? And how can a salt dome store energy? Triple Point Resources CEO Julie Lemieux explains how the salt dome in Bay St. George will work and play a pivotal role. So just in the center of the dome, that's where the, the thickest part of the salt is located. So basically you drill a hole, you inject water on the ground, and you slowly dissolve the salt. So you, you go 1.5 kilometer deep with that hole, you start injecting water, the brine come back to surface, and then it creates a full, uh, fully sealed cavity. And once you have that, uh, that cavity can hold uh, any liquid, any solid, and in our case, just air. So when we'll have access um, renewable on the grid, we can activate basically the pump and the pump will just pump air on the ground, make it uh, compress. And once you release it, basically the air is released, it spins the turbine again, and it regenerates electricity. And location is key. About 10 kilometers from the coastline in one of the world's prime wind corridors and intersected by the Maritime Link transmission line to Nova Scotia. Well, it can go all the way to the Avalon Peninsula. And um, everybody knows there's a subsea cable that goes to Nova Scotia. We can go and absorb, if you want, all the excess energy that they would have as well on their grid. If we were to, to have more on our side, uh, on the Newfoundland side, we can send more and sell more electricity to Nova Scotia and all the way to New Brunswick. So we can help really decarbonize the entire Atlantic region. The benefits of this multi-million dollar project are rich and buried deep in the soil and it's proven successful in other parts of the world. Salt cavern can can last like 50, 60 years so it makes it highly different than battery as an example where after 15 years you need to change them. They are on surface uh, for compressor energy storage basically 150 megawatts uh, to start would be you know, as big as a grocery store parking lot. A recent study is delivering positive news confirming that, yes, it can safely and efficiently store clean energy. The CEO told NTV News earlier today that work is ongoing and they will be meeting with Premier Tony Wakeham next week to talk about next steps. For NTV News, I'm Becky Daly.